back to this special discussion on the agenda for the new railway minister. I have with me former rail minister Dinesh Trivedi of the TMC, Mr. S.B. Ghosh Dastidar, the former member traffic railway board, uh, uh, honoured with Padma Shri, and Mr. Akhilesh Vasahai, who was on deputation to Kogan Railway and uh, was also advisor to the Delhi Metro, so clearly an expert on the subject. Uh, well, gentlemen, I got the major point of view that most of you want the government to be the investor and also bear the subsidy burden of the railways and uh, the large part of the railways be run commercially. Uh, let's get to the structure. Uh, uh, Mr. Trivedi, is, has the time come to run railways something like the banking sector is run? Not exactly. I don't want the analogy to be taken too far. The ministry, the department makes uh, policy decisions. But uh, a state bank can be made to do, you know, uh, uh, social obligations as well, like the Jandhan is being uh, uh, made mandatory for all banks. So railways are run as corporates. You corporatize railways, maybe into four corporates, maybe into eight corporates for the various zones, and the ministry only makes decisions. Maybe like the RBI regulator uh, for the tariffs. Is that the way ahead? I'm only quoting from the Rakesh Mohan and the Prakash Tandon committees. Is that a good, is that the way to go? See, the problem is, uh, I've always told one thing, Lata, mm. that we have not understood this Kam Dhenu guy called the Indian Railways. We don't need anything. Please understand, we only need to understand the railways. Corporatization, privatization, these are the words used by people who really do not understand railway at the core. We do not want a situation where it is public sector versus private sector. It is public sector, private sector and the people at large. Sir, so I'm this not, no, I'm only asking for a way in which decisions are made no, quickly I, and without corruption. No, what would be the answer? See, see, corruption can only be tackled with technology. You have a paperless decision making process, like a, a, a person who has quoted for the tender, should know where it's lying and he can just open his computer and understand where is the file lying. So there is just no need of any kind of a paper transaction and corruption will be gone. Mm. Second thing, this uh, since we are talking about these things, mm. if you need quality, mm. then you must understand that this L1 concept in the railways is not going to work. Because people who do not understand, they quote for it, they will win, and then they are given, and then it goes to the court. And your basic, whatever is the project cost, the cost run is 100 times, 200 times, at times 400 times more, and, and the time taken is, again, instead of two years, it is... 20 years, 25 so, years. So what so is the answer that, to make decisions? In decision? short, I'll tell you in yeah, short. What is the answer I'll tell to make decisions faster? I'll tell you the answer. I'll tell you, I have, I'll tell you the answer. Mm. All you have to do is instead of a, a, a small little change, mm. you have to go through a generational change. To my mind, you have to rebuild the entire railway system and in the present scenario, please understand the railway system is very ro robust. Mm -hmm. The railway board is very robust. Don't try to tinkle this too much. Oh. Let it be there and let, 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 let it be there. And all you have to do is just go through the Kakotkar committee report, the Sam Petroda committee report and Mamta's vision 20. You don't need a white paper, green paper, yellow paper. Mm. I don't think so. It's a rocket okay. science. Oh, well, a oh, man on the street also will tell you what is required. You know, it's very I'm, easy. Uh, I'm don't not convinced. Sir, I'm a little, change, I'm a a little not convinced change. about this uh, uh, rail boat system working, especially after the Pawan Bansal episode. It was too much of an eye-opener of too deep a corruption uh, in the system. But uh, let me get the other gentleman yeah, but in. Then, but because I tell you, I tell you, I have to let the I have it to let the others. It is. Yeah, I it have is to let the others have their say. The decision making, which is not transparent. Okay, fair transparent enough. Fair enough. I take your. I take your point on that, uh, yeah. Mr. Ghosh. Uh, I still think that under the current department measure, and that's what a lot of. Uh, I must have spoken to at least ten ex railway uh, uh, board members and uh, chairmen before I came to this discussion. Their point is that it has to be corporatized. Otherwise, decisions just don't get taken quickly. Your point, sir. By corporatization, if you want to make some 16 separate corporation and uh, mm. IR has to be divided into 16, mm. it will not oper uh, it will not work because operation is integrated. Okay, it has to be unified. It okay. cannot be compared with state bank and many other banks because okay. every bank's 
operation is distinct, yes. Self sufficient. Mm. Second point is by corporatization, some gain may be there, some defects also may be there. Okay. Like, say, you mention about uh, uh, corruption mm. and uh, railway being such a vast organization, the largest corporation of India also, a joint secretary or additional secretary in the ministry can make them dance. Okay. Not to speak of minister. Okay. Here, no. there are seven... Okay, so, so uh, Mr. Yes, Ghosh, they cannot manage. Yeah, Mr. Ghosh, don't uh, yes. take my advice at all. Just in in a sentence, how should the railways what, be reorganized? What is, needed, what is needed, if you want to know, yes, that is some rationalization at board level also is required mm. because there is too much of departmentalism. That is the main bottleneck or bone of mm. contention for in the railways. Okay, how can that be done? There is a tandem committee report. Yep. which talked about merging two, three departments like commercial, operating and accounts mm. in one, all the engineering that is locomotive, mechanical, yep. electrical into rolling stock department and civil and s signal telecom in the infrastructure department. All right. All right. You that think that's a good idea? probably may work much better okay. and is desirable. All right. Mrs. Uh, Sahai, actually I'm being told I'm out of time. So your idea of the best way to organize uh, railway so that decision making is quick, clean, transparent. See, what you need is a clean break and I call it creative destruction of present railway board mm. and to create something totally new. The day has come when the incremental reforms are not really going to work. Mm. Even in 1904 when the railway board was created, if you have got half a minute, I will read from the Secretary of State to 1904 dispatch. Yes. The central idea for creation of railway board is that there should be a body of practical businessmen entrusted with full authority to manage railways in India on commercial principles and free from all non-essential restrictions and inelastic rules. Today's railway board is, board is a monolith. Railways are running despite railway board and not due to railway board. You cannot think of a railway ministry where you have got more than 80 officers who are of joint directly to government of India and above and what they are doing sitting there. Uh, Mr. The uh, day has come when this railway board has to go. Mm. Okay. And, uh, and your first question was whether to corporatize or not to corporatize. Let's look at one thing very clearly. Immediately remove all the production units and PSUs from the control of railway. That is the first, first level of reform. Mm. Second level of reform is when the main operations of railways, you will have to reform okay. gradually, okay. create a small nucleus, break railway board into three, four parts. Okay. One, one takes care of operations and maintenance, yep. vertically separate the construction. Railways in this, their present avatar cannot manage construction. Mm. Make a third small unit which becomes part of the railway ministry or a department of the transport ministry and fourth mm. as a safety come tariff regulator. Okay. So All railway right. board is gone. Got it, got it sir. Yeah. Last word from the minister because he is, yes. Lada, I just want to conclude that please don't let uh, the railways go the Air India way. Mm. That's it. And it is, it is very easy to run this railway system mm. because we have a robust know-how. Okay. And it can run very efficiently. But my question is, hasten but slowly. All oh, right. Point taken, sir. We shouldn't let the railways go the Air India way. But I think uh, that paragraph uh, uh, Mr. Sahai read out of uh, the purpose for which the rail board was, uh, 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 you know, conceptualized and the way in which it is functioning now is a measure of how much we have moved away from running the railways properly. You'll have given us a lot of ideas. Uh, we hope some of these will be taken up by the new railway minister. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for a fruitful day of discussion.